Hey guys, welcome back to the Bros. Soaps channel, and I'm back with some more WAD. And also, I got some upcoming gameplay videos and reviews that we'll be doing in the future videos. So if you're interested in that, make sure to check them out. They'll be out hopefully by this weekend, but we'll see. But anyways, I'm in the P-47D here, and this plane's really fun to fly. It's my favorite plane in the game. In the game, not my favorite plane, but in the game it's my favorite plane. Uh, you might not see me play it a lot, but it is my favorite plane just because it can take a lot of hits. And I love tanky planes. Uh, so this thing's gonna be a lot of fun to play because you, know, you can get shot so much in this thing. It just still flies. It's unbelievable. But it's pretty cool. But anyways, guys, I'll be teaching you how to dogfight this plane. Not that I'm an expert or anything, but we can figure some stuff out. I mean, after all, it is my favorite plane in the game. So you'd think that at least know how to use it, sort of. But I'll let you guys judge that. So let's talk a little bit about the plane and what makes it so good. First of all, this thing's a flying tank. It can take so many hits and still accomplish the mission and make you back to base in one piece. This thing also has the strongest engine in the game. It has the R2859 double wasp 18 cylinder engine, which is 2,500 horsepower, which is, I believe, 250 more horsepower than the, two, uh, the R2800 AW radial engine, which is from the Corsair. So this plane is unbelievably fast, and I believe that the P-47B, it has a little bit stronger engine, it's only 50 horsepower more than the Corsairs, so it's still pretty fast, although that plane's a lot more sluggish, I find, because uh, it's not that much faster, it's a lot more heavier, which makes the P-47D one of the strongest planes in the game, just because of its bomb load, its durability, and its speed. You can actually be in Z in this plane, which I found really surprising. Uh, I didn't have much trouble doing it in this game, and I, I find that you guys probably won't as well. It actually climbs really well. Uh, the Corsair, though, is a lot lighter, so you will have better luck with B and Z in that plane. But this plane is just so cool. I mean, it's pretty cool. It has the new damage model and everything. Guys, if you don't have this plane and you're looking forward to getting it, I, I highly recommend it. So if you get this plane, let me know, because this thing's, this thing's a beast. We're going to fly formation with it sometime, I bet. Also, this plane does have 850 cows. Not that you really need that many, but you do have it. So you'll be pretty much tearing apart all the Japanese planes in like one strafe. Because this thing shoots really fast and it has incredible armament. As you can see right here, I'm actually pulling some pretty high altitude maneuvers and stuff. And not even stalling that much. Like, I've already out climbed the Zero. I'm just going to turn behind it and just hit it up. Alright, so Gabe, how do you dogfight this thing? Well, let me tell you. So, the dogfighting style I recommend for this plane is obviously B and Z. I mean, you gotta B and Z with this plane, otherwise you're not gonna be finding yourself getting a lot of kills. There are different objectives of this plane, and depending on what objective you choose, depends on how you'll dogfight. So, if you plan on being escort or just dogfighting, well, first of all, I wouldn't recommend this plane just for escort. You're better off with a Corsair. But if you want to do escort with this plane because it's just that cool, I'd recommend you jettison your bombs or don't bring any because your objective is to protect the bombers and not much yourself. So that's why I just would recommend uh, bringing bombs for that. But you can though, but you'll have to jettison them. If you don't jettison your bombs, you'll find yourself being a lot more sluggish than you wanted and it's just going to be a real pain to defeat those like maneuverable zeros because it just won't be easy. This plane cannot outturn a hind, so don't even attempt it. You'll have to figure something out for that. Uh, what I do recommend for hinds, though, is head on heads, like always, or speeding away from them. Because you'll go faster than them, but they're pretty fast as well. So just try to speed away from them, and then turn around and probably go for a head on head. Because they will probably climb up to your altitude. So just judge the situation and choose depending on that. So if you're going to go bomber mode on this, I'd honestly just stay high and just keep flying, and then if someone gets on your six, just dive, and then just blow up the carriers, it's that easy. Bombing with this thing is probably one of the easiest things you can do. You don't have to, you're not like a sitting duck in a B-25, waiting for your escort to come, but they never came, and then you're in your guns, and you're shooting everything, and it's just impossible. With this plane, you can literally just dive over there, and blow everything up, and then just spawn at base, and it's not that hard. So, if you like bombing, quick bombing, this plane is really meant for that. So now, without any further ado, let's start the video.
rest of the game just bombing and rocketing ships, and then I killed 1k. So nothing super interesting. I don't know if you guys like seeing that kind of stuff, but I'm going to leave it out for the sake of this video. It's getting around 7 minutes, and we're out of music. Yeah. So yeah, that's what I got for you guys today. If you do want to see me for some reason bombing the ships and stuff, I can always upload that. And just ask me in the comments below. I don't mind doing that. I'll add some music, edit a little bit, make it look nice. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Also, don't forget t-shirts, top link in the description if you want to pull these t-shirts or something like that. Also, some upcoming videos include a Bullet Force showdown, some B25 gameplay, some more WAD, obviously, some other various games. And most importantly, I'm going to do another Strike Fighter review. Someone brought it to my attention. They have updated the game. It's a lot different. I wouldn't say a lot different now, but it's definitely different now. So if you guys are a Strike Fighter fan and you want to see me do that review, I'll be doing it this weekend, so hopefully you guys will enjoy that. But anyways, that's all I got for you guys today. I'll see you guys next time on Pro Swims channel. Take care. Bye-bye. This is G-Night from Pro Swims channel. Signing off.